Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a quick look at Bitcoin, the short term, medium term and long term count, so stay tuned. Okay, Bitcoin. So let's just cover a few things before I go on. If you want to join the group, you just have to go on to the uh, main YouTube channel place, press here, Facebook group access, and you do get access to the group. Now, a couple of things that I want to sort of mention very quickly here is this is what we cover on the group. So it's twice a week videos, Mondays and Thursdays, anywhere between, you know, sort of 9 and 12 UK time, cover 15 coins as well as cover the major sort of asset classes as per my general market commentary video such as stock market gold oil and silver um, the other thing that i'm doing right now given that it's, it's a bit of a lockdown situation and i've got a bit more spare time if you want to book in for a skype consultation once again add me on facebook this is the link and then shoot me up a message and as regards for educational material i will have a master class available at some point but that could very well take up to another six months or a year but i have put a package together which involves the cot data the fibonacci time video which in itself is worth thousands as well as the three cheat sheets so once again just add me on facebook as a friend send me a message and make it very clear what you want the link to is it the, the the group the consultations or the educational material and that should all be uh fairly self-explanatory and these these are the cheat sheets which i will be sort of um given away so it's going to be one on chart patterns and the statistical uh, analysis and projections one on the candlesticks and one on the Elliott Wave cheat sheet. All other parts of the old Shopify store are being redone and worked into the masterclass. So once again, if you want to join the group, if you want to sort of uh, arrange any consultations, any educational material, everything should be there through here. There's no current email contact or website currently functioning. Now, let's go into Bitcoin. So as you know, long term, I am still bearish on this market i made a call around two and a half years ago when bitcoin was at two and a half thousand it was going to go to twenty thousand and then back all the way to two thousand and nothing really has changed since that the long-term count very much um works it that this is a one as a two as a three four five and we are now correcting the entire five-year bull market as you know this line was very very important this is a um ascending line going back five years so far it well it had held for many many years and now we've got a complete breakdown of that line here there was a very simple trade straight to the vpoc which is what we got now we have this descending line coming down which is now coming in at around i don't know nine thousand or so we also have another trend line coming down from here which is this line from here to here this line is now coming in at around um well call it eight and a half thousand and we also have this ascending line which we're now probably going to retest but as you can see here on the weekly chart there's been two rejections of this major level okay previous support always tends to act as resistance coming back the other way around right now we're having some difficulty getting above this line so if bitcoin does manage to get above here we are still going to be trapped and confined between this line coming up this line coming down and this line coming down so really short term there's very little in terms of upward price movement i feel um given the current situation now as for the count we can work this as some kind of abc complete into here i think that's a very fair assumption um certainly have all the hallmarks to call this an abc it was a very very quick c but that's quite typical of a c it's um, hit the 0 0.618 there that was the extension we've not quite filled the gap and we've not quite reached this low here which is an unsecure low which tells me eventually this low is going to get taken out so we can talk about the gap at 12,000 all day long at the end of the day there is still a gap at 3400 which still needs to be tagged and still needs to be um be repaired as such so if we are working this as all of this is an abc complete into here 
So let's just bring that degree down a little bit. Let's put that in blue. So that is one complete ABC. This could very well be a Y wave. And now we're going up to form another X before we come back down in a Y. Now, I will do a, an update on the stock market as well. There's a chance we may have bottomed last week. I'm not fully convinced by that point. I want to see how this month ends and next month. Um, if the stock market does continue to go higher, there's a chance there for, you know, the money could still come out of Bitcoin, um, uh, uh, Bitcoin uh, bonds as well as gold and silver. Okay, so we do we do know as well, you know, there is a link between Bitcoin and uh, the stock market in terms of giving us an idea of liquidity. But clearly, it's not a one to one correlation. If it was the, you know, Bitcoin would have made a new high well over a year ago, much like the stock market. But there is a link there, although it's not one to one. So really, you know, this current move is just another corrective sequence before the next leg down. I don't think there's anything high probability right now, certainly not at this price. Uh, this knife catch was fairly obvious for those who know how to catch knives. It was at 3400. It was a retest of this broken Wyckoff zone. So that was fairly obvious. But if you, you only had a few minutes to sort of get in there, given what was going on at that time. Now, as I said in my last video, 6400, we're pretty much there. 382. The next key level to the upside would be around seven and a half thousand. So if there is any more upward movement here, we could do a retest of 7400 and um, the 50% fear. But like I said, it is then likely we are going to get trapped between these lines, which are going to basically hold the price of Bitcoin down. Now, let's see if we can go into the short term. Is there anything here on the short term to sort of speak about this all very much looks like an abc i think that's an a that's a b that's see now we're just range bound so it's very very difficult to train range bound markets especially if you want any high confidence high probability uh trades a lot of this choppiness there's there's, there's not a lot to do here so i do expect this to just roll over and make one more new low now let's bring in the btc futures was the first to sort of mention this a while ago and um, it's important to sort of focus on this and that you know there is the gap so this low is unsecure which means eventually it gets taken out and I talk more much more about secure lows and unsecure lows in the masterclass when I do release that and um, there is a gap here so eventually this gap gets taken out it's a little bit odd how we've bounced off this level here um, and managed to go up. This very much looks like a short squeeze and a short squeeze vertical move is typically a hallmark of a bear market. So I do feel eventually we are going to roll back over and come back down again. So um, we can run that as an ABC and like I said, we can take the same fibs that we took from before. And there's your 50 there's your 38.2. So the upward sort of movement will be, I think, contained below the multi-year POC at 8,000. I'd be very surprised if this upward move gets us further past that before another leg to the downside. So, and if we just have a look at the altcoins, I mean, th this is what we do in the group. This entire list here is basically everything that we cover. So all the major 15 coins. I also take group requests. And like I said, we cover the major watch list. This entire watch list is basically what we cover, trying to understand where the stock market is going to go. And if we just cover crude oil here, crude oil, you know, crude oil really is the one that, that needs to bounce for this stock market to recover. I mean, there are a lot of bearish counts on crude oil i mean some as low as actually 8.93 not too sure if it gets down that low but there is a you know a very real possibility crude oil gets to at least 13 and 14 dollars here so you know that kind of movement is 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 going to definitely apply some pressure across the board if we have a quick look at ethereum btc this is really the marker for the altcoin so we had a nice little move here um, a few months ago in this little C wave rally, which we call to the T. Um, but you have to know when to sort of move away. And right now, this is telling you the altcoins are still showing weakness. And where is the next support? Well, really, you're looking at these pivot levels here. You're looking at these 
pivot level is going to, I don't know, what's that? 0 0.01219. So you're looking at a move down to here before we get the next rally up and potentially this pivot level just underneath here. There will be stops underneath there and this pivot level high here. Now let's see where we are in terms of the fibs. And there's your 61.8. So there, 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 there is definitely still movement um, to move lower in the altcoins. So, you know, that is the current situation. You know, there's been some nice trades here, but clearly we are still correcting the entire bull market. You know, there's definitely a sense of capitulation as of a few weeks ago, but this market will continue to go as low as it needs to go until everyone has been shaken out and there's no one left commentating on this market. But as of right now, um, there still seems to be quite a few people commentating on this market so that's not really how markets bottom so i still expect one more shakeout here and then things i think are going to get very very interesting as we move in to the halving which is not too far away now so you know it's a great time to join the group so bringing it back to bitcoin then very quickly overall i still feel we are in a bear market i'm not convinced we are in a bull market i've basically drawn three lines there which are going to contain the price over the next couple of months. We do have the halving, but as we have seen multiple times, every time we get some kind of news, Bitcoin futures, BA, you know, backed, f backed futures, whatever, um, it does very much seem to be a sell the news event. So whilst it looks great, it's going sideways, really, it's sideways slash down. And, and I think there'll be a good buying opportunity at least the gap fill at 34, if not a double bottom, if not the first FIB target of 2,200. Uh, and then then obviously there are still lower targets moving down from there. So rapidly changing environment. Right now, there's not much to do in this zone. Could go as high as 7,400, but then we expect a move lower. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Like I said, if you want to join the group, you know what to do. If you want some Skype consultations, educational material, um, and the masterclass will be ready within the next year or so, but there's no set date on that. Um, I've done the content. The content's been done a while ago, but um, I thought I'd get some education out there because I know many of you missed the sort of the old Shopify store. So once again, just add me on Facebook and send me a message, but make it clear as to whether you want um, the Skype consultation, the educational material, or the link for the um, Facebook group. If you want to pay in crypto, you'll have to pay three months in advance. So it's better just to go through PayPal and it's a monthly subscription so you can cancel at any time. Anyway, I'll catch you guys on the next video.